Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to study about sign test. This is for sign test one sample. If you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, kindly do it. We'll quickly move on to the uh, video here. It is the simplest form of a sign test here. It is easy to learn. So first of all, we should understand what is a sign test. See, it is a non-parametric test usually, right? That can be used to test either a claim involving matched pairs of sample of data. See, for example, I'm having a data called before and after a um, <clears throat> test. For example, I'm doing a test for a patient. Then I'm finding out a BP, for example, uh, before it is 120 and it is increased 125, etc. Okay, now this is a paired value. I'll call it as a paired value because it is taken for patient one. <clears throat> okay, so you should understand this. This is matched pairs of sample of data or a claim involving nominal data with two categories. There are two categories, whether uh, this is better than that. I am finding out a claim. There I'm using the sign test. Otherwise, a claim about the population median. You should understand here, it is not mean, it should be median, okay? So it, it is a claim I'm going to check. See whether uh, the population uh, median is 58 or not. See, suppose a population is there, okay? So the median of the population is 58, yes or no? I'm going to check it. Then uh, we call it as the... Uh, claim about population median against the hypothesized value. Now, this hypothesized value is nothing but the 58, okay? So now, uh, in this situation only, we are going to use the sign test. It is for non-parametric data. What are the two types we are going to have? It, okay? Mainly, we'll be having two types here, two types of data. See, we are going to find out the two types of data here. Uh, first one, is the sign test for one sample sign test, okay? So it is one sample sign test. Now the other one is the paired sample sign test. First one is one sample sign test. Other one is the paired sample sign test. Here, uh, we are uh, just going to find out the hypothesis uh, value here. This is the first type. And here, either a claim involving matched pair samples so that is what is the paired sample t-test, okay? I'm sorry, paired sample sign test here, okay? Right, so what is this one sample sign test is about? You're going to see. It is used to test the population median against a hypothesized value K. See, suppose I'm having a value called K. I am just finding out the population median is belonging to the sample and the population median are <clears throat> from the same one, okay? See, for example, population is there. I am having a hypothesis value of the median 58. So this sample belongs to this population or not. I'm going to check it in this one sample sign test. So it can be left tailed, right tailed or two tailed. There are three types here. Left tailed, what is the meaning? Right tailed, what is the meaning? Or two tailed, what is the meaning? We are going to study here. Suppose if you do not know what is this left, right tailed or two tailed, we have done a video for uh, uh, finding out the hypothesis testing here in, in our channel, just visit and uh, just check it out there. Okay, so here, hypothesis for left tailed test. How we are going to have left tailed test hypothesis for one sample sign test? It is median is greater than or equal to K. We are not bothering about less than here. So it is one tailed. So left side, so that you have to remember. Now the alternate hypothesis will be median is less than K. So now if it is a right tail test, we are concerning about median less than K. We do not uh, care whether the median is greater than or not. We are not caring about this one. So therefore it is one tail test, it is right tailed we say. So now median is greater than K will be the alternate hypothesis here. Now two tail test will be see median equal to K. So here I'm finding out whether it is less than also, whether it's greater than also, I'm going to find it out greater than or equal to or less than both I'm finding out. Therefore it is called a two tail test. So for one tail test, what is the value? How to find out from the tabular column? For two tail test, how to find out from the tabular column? You'll have to understand here. If it is alpha is 0 0.05, 
then uh, it is two tail test as it is. If it is for one tail test, then I'm going to find it out for alpha by two. It's nothing but 0 0.025. We have done a detailed video in our channel. It is there. You just visit and find it out. Okay, so we'll move on to the sum now. Here, what will be the test statistics here? Now, let us suppose that we are having X. Okay, so we always call the test statistics as X is our test statistics and N as the sample size here. Usually, the N will be calculated as number of plus signs and plus number of minus signs here. Sometimes we'll be getting, there is no plus, there is no minus, we'll be getting zero. Therefore, I'm telling it is nothing but sample size here. See, whenever the value comes zero, we are leaving it and taking it. Okay, number of plus sign and number of minus sign. That will be your sample size here. Okay, so now here, if n is less than or equal to 25, then I'm finding out the x is the smallest of the number of plus and number of. Okay, suppose there are five plus signs. Okay, so uh, seven uh, minus sign, then five will be my. Uh, x value. So I have to take the smallest of plus sign and the minus sign values. Okay. Number of plus sign is 5. Number of minus sign is 7. So my x will be 5. Okay. You have to keep it in mind. Whichever is the small, I'm going to take it. Suppose n is greater than 25, then I'm finding out the same x, but I have to use another formula to find out the calculated value. If n is greater than 25, then z is our test statistics. It is calculated by this formula. So x is equal to 5, I'm going to substitute here. I'm going to find out the z value. That will be my calculated value usually if uh, n is greater than 25. So we'll be having a software also to find it out. So we'll concentrate on n is equal to less than 25 for our manual calculation in this particular video. So what is this x? x is the smallest number of plus or minus signs. Okay, so whichever is smaller that I'm taking it. Number of plus sign is five, number of minus sign is seven, then my X value will be five. I'm going to take it like that. So now N is the sample size I all, already told you, number of plus and number of minus, I'm going to add it in uh, finding out the N, okay? So, so here I'm going to have an example to show it to you. Let us suppose that the cost of visiting a physician. See, suppose there is a patient is going to visit a physician, okay? Doctor, for example, doctor one, doctor two, doctor three, doctor four, and doctor five. Usually he goes here and he's paying some amount here, okay? So what is the amount is paying here, okay? So that's what we are going to take. So all the five clinics are charging same for the patient, yes or no, I'm going to find out as usual, right? So what is this actually? See, uh, five clinics is given under at alpha is equal to 0 0.01, because it is given in the sum alpha is equal to 0 0.01, my level of significance should be taken as 0 0.01. Can we claim that the median cost is rupees 58? Okay, so all the clinics, median, uh, so the middle value is 58, it's, et cetera. We have to find it out. Okay, the median uh, cost is rupees 58 for the all the physicians. I want to find it out. So what is the data I'm having for this? The cost for the particular patient. I, I have collected some information from here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people I have collected it here. So I'm just finding it out. Okay. So now uh, here I'm going to find out the null hypothesis. Median is 58. Okay. So now uh, here I can take it as 10 clinics also. Nothing wrong in that. No. H naught is median is equal to 58. Okay. So whether the cost is 58 or not, I am just finding it out. Now, Alternate hypothesis median is not equal to 58 I am having. So now what is my alpha here? Alpha is level of significance is 0 0.01. Okay. Now, so how to calculate this? The values above 58. 58 is already given. My cost is 60. For example, I'm going to subtract this value. So what is my value which comes plus here? Now, 57 rupees, it is there. I'm going to subtract it, 58. So I'm getting a negative sign. So I'll always take the sign. I don't want to take the number here. Okay, so 58 will be the subtraction of the number. Now, 58 minus 58 is zero. So I'm going to omit this value. I'm not taking into consideration. 90, this is 90 minus 58. So it has a positive sign. 53 minus 58 will be the negative sign. 90 minus 58 will be the positive sign. 60 minus 
58 will be the positive sign. 95 minus 58 will be the positive sign. 57 minus um, 58 will be the negative. 45 minus 58 will be negative. 57 minus 58 will be negative. 50 minus 58 will be the negative. Value. Okay, so 10 values I have taken it here. So I'm just counting on how many positive values. One, two, three, four. Okay, now plus four values and one, two, three, four, five. Minus is equal to five values. So I am going to omit this value. So my n is equal to number of positive value four, number of negative value is five. So my n should be nine and it is not 10 because we are leaving this 58, that's zero. Okay, so 58 minus 58, zero comes, I'm going to omit it. That's what you have to remember. So now my n will be four plus five, that is nine. So I'm going to take the x value here, minimum of these two. So minimum of four and five, I should get x is equal to four. Now I call this x is equal to four as my calculated value here. So x calculated value is four, then from sign test table, okay? So there'll be a table called sign test table, the critical value of x for n is equal to nine here, okay? So it is not 10, you have to remember. So it is nine is equal to three. So now I keep this as x critical value. So x critical is three, x calculated value is four. I have calculated. So as usual, I am going to compare these two, okay? So now x calculated value is four, x critical is three. I'm going to compare this, okay? X calculated is greater than the x critical value. So the null hypothesis is rejected at 5% level of significance. So here, 5% level of significance, I should not take it here because I should take it as um, the 0 0.01 is given, so 1% level of significance because it is it has been asked here. So usually we take it as 5% level of significance. The null hypothesis is rejected at 1% level of significance. So therefore, what we are going to do is we conclude as 99% confidence. Okay, so now here you have to take it as 99% confidence that the median is not 58. So the cost is different in all the clinics. So that is what uh, the sign test is about. Okay, I hope uh, you like this video. If you like this video, just uh, subscribe to my channel. If you have any query, just put it in the comment box. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.